now we got these big bohemus up on the cribbing. Let's get to the fun part, turn these things into some nice timber. Using a chainsaw mill for our first cut, we need a nice level surface to run the guide on. And I've found what really works good is just an extension ladder. I just take my drill and drill a couple holes in a few of the rungs and run some Phillips screws in there and use my level and level it off. And that's a guide for my first Here's cut. Here's a ladder, a couple screws. And what I do is I just put my level right there on one of the rungs and then tighten the screws until I get a nice level surface. We'll go over here and do the same on the other end. When switching over the chainsaw over to the chainsaw mill, I like to use a different chain. Not a cross-cut chain like I use for falling trees, but a special ripping chain with a different tooth configuration. It rips, cuts the boards much better on the chainsaw mill. Now I've got the saw and the chainsaw mill. Let's go ahead and cut some lumber. So there's the first cut. You always start cutting on the small end because that's what determines how big of a piece of t uh, lumber you can get out of it. And I uh, make these little wedges out of oak, keep them in my pocket, and uh, put those in periodically as I cut to keep the uh, top slab there, the cant, from pinching the bar. Look at that first cut. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is. So there's our three inch slab. Right there. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, cut the square edges on it. So this is the edging attachment right here that I've got clamped onto this saw. As you can see, I snapped the chalk line uh, where I want the edge, and uh, this is a 2x6 with a little cleat screwed onto it that runs in this track. And we'll use that to cut our and square our edges. When you're using this edging uh, attachment, You've got to secure this edge because it'll fall down and it'll break your board. So I just made this dog out of a piece of flat iron and put some edges on it. And this works real good. So after I start my saw in, I'll just pound this in. There it is, a brand new freshly cut 12 and a half foot 3 by 12 right from the tree today. I've had many guys ask me, you know, why do I go, out of the, go to all the time and the trouble uh, to mill my own lumber to do this, to cut down the tree? It would be so much easier. Why don't you just go to the lumber yard and pick up a piece? And I've always looked at this as my rebellion against the system. Do you know, if you don't, most of you guys probably do, you cannot legally go into your backyard, cut down a tree, mill it into lumber, and build yourself a house or even a shed without permission from some bureaucrat, some government agency, some self-appointed uh, nanny um, over our lives and everything that we do. You know, I, uh, I, I reject that. I am getting so sick and tired of uh, being ruled by codes and people uh, looking out for my safety, um, it makes me sick. Uh, well, that's one reason why I moved to an area like this where I'm still a free man. I'm still free to go out, cut down my tree, mill myself some lumber. Uh, you know, I still live under the constraints. You know, I have to get building permits if I want to build my house. Um, but uh, for, for me, 
for me, it, it is push back. I think it's time for us to push back from all of these people telling us uh, what we need to do. They're strangling us. They're taking away our freedoms uh, through building codes, safety codes, all of this nonsense. Um, it sounds so good. It sounds like they're looking out for our best interest, trying to keep ourselves and our kids safe. But you know what it is? is it's stealing away our rights. It's stealing away our freedom. I look at this as a God-given right uh, to me. If I want to go cut down my trees, if I want to go mill them into lumber, build a warm house for my family to live in, let me do it. I don't want your permission. And if there are consequences, if I don't build it right and it falls down on my head, so be it. Uh, that's my problem to deal with. So that's why. Sorry, I'm ranting now, but uh, that's the way I feel about this whole thing. So thanks for watching. And this is one of uh, many that I'll be cutting. It's just uh, running out of daylight here and it's uh, time to go in. So uh, there'll probably be a part three and four in this as uh, I'll use this timber uh, to put the stairs together. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.